Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's Tony Sager here at the Lavender Project. Welcome, and um, also for you guys, welcome to the new Lavender Project channel. Um, our page has now been updated, um, sadly, to the little new YouTube One channel. So as you've probably noticed, if you're not on it right now, you should go see it. Um, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, but not as cool as the the last channel thing, and uh, yeah. So um, today we're gonna be talking about a creepy pasta for once. I haven't talked about a creepy pasta for a long while now, um, so we're gonna be finally talking about one. And uh, this creepy pasta I actually picked because it's the shortest. Um, because uh, all right, all the creepy pastas I think basically all of them that I have on my list. Um, are really long creepypastas, and I really don't want to do a long one right now. There's a reason why. Um, after make after converting the channel to the new YouTube one shit, and then I had to redo a bunch of crap, and I still don't like it at all. I have to get used to it. There's things that I'm worried won't work now. Um, they fucked up my channel title, and I'm pissed off about that. Um, with that little Google Plus shit. Um, so yeah, it kind of sucks, and um, I have a big headache right now and uh I'm just really I'm not really tired my eyes just hurt is another thing otherwise I'm in a pretty good mood I guess um a new step for the channel so yeah uh, the uh creepy pasta we're going to be talking about today is called little pink backpack and so I think I read this a couple months ago my girlfriend actually recommended it to me after she watched uh, Mr. Creepy Pasta's video of the little pink backpack um now, for this video, I was actually going to tell you guys the story of what happened with Little Pink Backpack. However, well, I'm not sure, but I swear there was a story behind it. Now, when I go on the Creepypasta website today to read it again so I can get familiar with it for the video talk, um, turns out that the story is no longer there. However, something is there, which is kind of cool. Um, there is the, like, copy of someone who actually typed the pages so you could read them of uh the little book that they found in a little pink backpack. So yeah, I don't really know what's what else uh happened besides that or whatever. Um but yeah, also I'll tell you about that um creepy pasta right now, I guess. Um It's actually pretty cool creepy pasta. I said you that to you guys that I do more creepy pasta videos, so I'm trying. Um but however, uh before the I start this creepy pasta I want you to let you know um I have let's see I have a smile dog long ass creepy pasta happy happy long ass creepy pasta rap rat long ass creepy pasta I'm not in the mood to do all those right now if you guys have any other creepy pastas uh, let me know down in the video idea so anyways little pink backpack so let's see um I actually have pictures I'm on the uh little creepy pasta website right now I'm looking at them uh hold on let me show you those these little pictures are, they're actually pa the the pages from the, that were found inside this little pink backpack, apparently. And, um, they're, like, from this, like, maybe, like, five-year-old girl's, like, notebook or whatever from school or whatever. I'm not so sure, but, yeah, if you want to go see these, you can go, uh, to the Creepy Pasta website. Um, and, uh, look at them. They're pretty weird. You can't really see them in the video, but anyways. So I'm gonna read down, uh, I'm gonna read to you guys what, uh, each page says, because apparently there's no really story behind it anymore, I guess. Um, so, uh, let's see. The only thing that I know about this is I'm pretty sure that there was a little pink backpack just found somewhere by someone. Uh, and, um, they look through it and they found the notebook and they read the notebook pages. They're like, what the hell is this? This is some creepy ass shit. So, uh, mind you, this kid is probably in kindergarten or first grade, so it's kind of really creepy too. So I'm just going to read down page by page. So let's start. Um, page one. This is Lisa. She is my friend. My mom and dad don't see her, so they say she is an imaginary friend. Lisa is a nice friend. Eh, pretty cool. Alright, so here's page two. Today, I tried to plant a flower in my yard. I tried to plant it by the sandbox, but Lisa said that uh, is where her daddy is sleeping, so I planted it in a cup of dirt. Okay, that's a little creepy. Um, Where her daddy is sleeping, underground. Um, I'd have to say he's dead and buried, um, but where the hell are they, a cemetery? I don't know, unless he, like, went to hell. <laughs> Alright, page three. So, page three says, Lisa is at school with me today. I brought her for show and tell, but Mrs. Monroe got mad because she can't see her. Lisa got sad, so she hid the chalkboard eraser. Alright, chalkboard erasers. Um, I hate those things, so, uh... 
that's actually more of a favor, I guess. <laughs> it's really cool, I guess. Um, okay. So, uh, page four says, Yesterday was my birthday party. Mommy brought pizza, but no one came. Lisa said people came to the porch and left, but they left presents. I got three Barbies, a pair of shoes, and five dollars. Me and Lisa, m me and Lisa played with the Barbies. Huh. Pretty weird, pretty weird. Um... So let me think about that for a second. She had a birthday party and her mom bought her pizza, but no one came to the birthday. And then someone left her presents, or were, were, they, were they ghosts or imaginary friends? I don't know, but uh, anyway, she got all that crap. So, all right. Page five. Mrs. Monroe is absent today, and our substitute is named Mrs. Digman. She is pretty and nice. And she is letting us have a snack time after diary time. I wish Miss Digman could stay our teacher. So at this point, uh, she really likes this teacher, apparently, this uh, substitute teacher. Um, I guess that's a little cool, I guess. Don't see really anything creepy with that. Um, page six. Today, Jonathan Parker stole my pencil pack. Miss Digman can't find it, so she made him give me his pencils. <laughs> Asshole. Uh, <laughs> Lisa came to school, too, but Mrs. Digman can't see her. Uh, she said she believes Lisa is real. Hmm. So... The substitute believes that an imaginary friend is real. Maybe for uh, the kid's sake? I'm not sure. And it doesn't really say this little kid's name, either. I don't think so. Uh, I'm just going off what this says. I hate reading creepy pastas. I swear to God, but um, it's not, I'm not really reading the creepy pasta. I'm really reading the pages that are associated with the pasta story. Um, anyways, so page seven. Yesterday, me and Lisa went on a long walk until the moon came out. Daddy got mad and said Lisa is stupid and fake, and she disappeared. Today, Lisa didn't come to school, but Mrs. Digman says that Mrs. Monroe won't come back. Huh? So uh, she disappeared. Her imaginary friend disappeared, and now the other teacher won't come back. Huh. Weird. Okay. Okay. So let's go to page 8. Daddy was at work all day yesterday. He didn't come home to eat dinner. Today he's still at work. Mom packed me a pudding for lunch today. Pudding is my favorite. Nothing really weird about that. Page 9. I miss Lisa. Daddy is real busy at work. He didn't come home at the weekend. Mom is mad at him. I want to write a letter for Lisa. Okay, weird. Dear Lisa, I miss you. Please come back. I'm sorry when my daddy was mean. You are my best friend. And finally, the page 11. Here's the last page. And page 11 reads, Lisa came back yesterday. She said sorry for leaving. I told her my dad won't come home from work. Lisa said him and Mrs. Monroe are both sleeping like her dad. Hope they wake up soon. Okay, that's a really creepy. So apparently it seems that every um, one that gets mad at this Lisa person, um, I think is getting killed and uh, buried. Um, and I'm guessing uh, this Lisa person is not just an imaginary friend, but she's in fact a ghost, maybe even a demon. Um, and that's really creepy. Uh, like, definitely creepy. Now, I really don't know what to say about that. It it sounds a lot like the Exorcist story, if you guys know about the Exorcist. Um, Evil Clock is on time today, obviously. Um, if you guys ever seen the Exorcist movie, then uh, it's pretty accurate, except for the Exorcist, that the guy, the person that was fucking being possessed was a guy, not a girl, okay? Um... Okay, so that's all the creepypasta says. It's just 11 pages of this little girl. And um, you can actually read these pages. These are real pages, as the, uh, the pictures I showed you. If you enlarge them, you can see the little drawings. And you can even, if you look close, you can read what they say. Uh, it's pretty weird, actually. So um, either someone took their goddamn sweet time to uh, draw all this. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It seems a lot real to me just because they actually have the actual pictures. Um, so I don't know. But yeah, it could be definitely faked. Hell easy. This could be faked. Um... You know, I I don't <laughs> I don't really uh freaking see how this could be uh real or faked. I could see how it could be real or faked, but like I I can't really decide if it's real or fake personally. Um I don't know. I just for the fact that they this is the one creepy pasta I read where they actually have legit pictures of shit. So 
Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm gonna have to go with, uh, it's really possible today. This could be a real, real, um, uh, could be, yeah, there's lots of, um, ghosts and spirits, if you believe that, uh, and demons, mostly, and maybe even angels that, uh, they manifest themselves in different forms, uh, for kids, and they're usually kid-friendly. Most spirits are, um, sensed by kids way easier than adults and even teenagers, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know how, why that really is. Most people say it's because, like, they're pure and innocent when they're younger, they're new to the world and all that crap, they're closer to the world of spirits. Makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't really know what to believe. But anyways, um, so yeah, all the pictures are really creepy here. Um, all the pages in this little pink backpack. Yeah, I wish I had the story for you guys, but that that's the just a reading of the pictures or whatever, so it's uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I have a big ass headache. I didn't even want to do a video after after I had to redo the channel and stuff. But anyways, tell me what you guys think about this little creepypasta or the pages or whatever. I'm not really going to go too much into it because, yeah, I just, I really can't think right now. Uh, head hurts so bad. Um, But yeah, so. Don't know what else to really say. Um. Josh of TLP on his channel, uh, Josh Inns, you can uh, go and sub to him. Um, he's actually linked to our channel. Uh, he's getting some subscribers pretty fast. Uh, he is now a partner just like us. Uh, he's a junior partner, um, and um, it's pretty cool. He's he can uh, he's been uploading a um, Pokemon, Pokey MMO, I think it is, um, a game series basically with him and his best friend Toby. Um, so yeah, you can go watch those, I guess. Uh, he wanted me to give him a shout-out or whatever. Also, um, a shout-out on our TLP uh, boss group chat for Facebook. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've made a couple new friends, and uh, yeah, everyone's being nice with everyone. You can join it if you want. Add me or Josh on Facebook, and we'll uh, put you into the group chat. And uh, yeah, I think that's basically all I have to say. Not in the best mood today. Huge headache. Yeah, I'll probably do, I don't know if I'm maybe even going to do another video today. I wanted to do videos yesterday, but I was busy with Angie, so. Yeah. Um, But yeah, anyways, we have about 98 videos, 99, 100 videos, something like that, left on our video list. Uh, so yeah, we'll be here for a lot longer. <laughs> anyways, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to become a TLP boss today. Sorry for the crappy video, but I gotta go. Um, yeah, so uh, stay sexy. Bye.